Basking in majestic scenery, Arran is an island masking a major scandal. Attention all passengers, we are now approaching Brodick. The botch process to replace this failing 40-year-old ferry has taken almost a decade, a tale anchored in mismanagement. Islanders like cancer patient Raymond and his wife Ina struggling to get to the mainland for treatment. You find yourself sitting there crying, thinking, oh, I can't go through this anymore. I can't face this journey across. I can't face the fact that I don't know whether it's the boat is going to sail. It just disrupts your whole life. Our whole life, actually, at the moment, is worrying about the ferry. We're relying on the boat. David's been a farmer here for 49 years. If we'd got the new boats when they were supposed to come, well, hopefully they would have been a better a better boat and we'd have the more reliable service. And you're counting the cost financially as a result? Financially and mentally. This is the new vessel that should have been taking passengers to Arran six years ago. But here it was, touching the water for the first time this week. Not in action, though, until late 2025. This and its sister ferry were part of a £97 million deal, now costing taxpayers Four hundred million after the Scottish government bought the yard to save jobs. This has been an embarrassment, hasn't it? No, and I think there were legacy design issues. The uh, yard itself has been through administration and then nationalisation. We've had a pandemic. We've been through Brexit. Do you recognise this project has been a failure? I recognise it's had its challenges for sure. And what do you say to the island communities who are still without their ferries? I'll do my best to get to get them finished in time and get them to them. And that's all I can do. So there will be no co more cost overruns and there will be no more delays? That's, as I said, I'm going to put my best effort. We're currently reviewing it. You can't actually rule that out? Not at this point, no. Those living here on Scotland's island communities may be the ones dealing with the cruel daily impact of a debacle that shows no definite end date. But this is a scandal with a much wider audience. Those who believe it tells a story of competence or incompetence at the heart of decision making. The other casualty could be the once world renowned Scottish shipbuilding industry. Its future more vulnerable than ever before. Connor Gillis, Sky News on the Isle of Arran.